For my first video of 2023, I decided to compile 10 ring cam break in attempt videos that have recently gone viral on Reddit, Twitter, and TikTok. Although most of these encounters end in close calls, some of the clips result in fatal outcomes for the perpetrator attempting to break into the homeowner's property. Let me know which of the 10 surprised you the most, and feel free to share any updates if you have more information than what I provided in the clips above. Here are 10 videos of attempted robberies caught on ring doorbell cameras. The first clip has recently gone viral on Twitter as it shows an unbelievably close call when two female friends are ambushed walking down their apartment corridor. Seconds before they walk into frame, we see two masked individuals walking up an additional flight of stairs and take precautions to ensure they aren't spotted. They inconspicuously hide from the other two people, preparing to set them up for a robbery. Once the second set of individuals walk down the hallway, the masked duo sneaks out from behind and charges towards their targets. In an unexpected twist of events, the two targets are armed with a gun and fire at various times down the corridor. The echo of the shots ring through the building and we see the two suspects running in the opposite direction, and it easily sounds like over 10 shots are fired in that small apartment hallway before the video abruptly cuts off. The last frame in the video is a concerned neighbor opening their door before promptly shutting it back closed when he realizes what's going on. I don't know the context behind the story, but the two suspects more than likely knew the unsuspecting individuals prior to the attack. It just turned out to be a miraculous outcome that no one was hurt considering all the flying bullets shot in that short amount of time. This next clip is the living embodiment of how things can drastically change in the blink of an eye. The ring cam shows three friends ending their evening after a night out. While in the middle of giving each other hugs and saying their goodbyes, a man with a gun sneaks out from behind the car in the right side of the video. The armed man is wearing a light beanie cap and has visibly long hair done up in braids. He orders the group of friends to get against the wall multiple times, and he warns them not to turn around or he will shoot them in the leg. He becomes more forceful and begins to grab the victims and orders them to take out their wallets. He shouts at them to give them all their valuables, including their rings, wallets, purses, and so on. By the sound of it, this appears to be a straightforward robbery attempt. He warns them multiple times not to turn around in what I can only assume is an indicator that he is going to let them go. Unfortunately, the video cuts away after recording for 60 seconds with no explanation on what happens to these three friends. Before the video ends, we see a vehicle parallel park across the street. This catches the perpetrator off guard and he's forced to leave the area shortly after. What first appears like an innocent and mundane routine of re-entering their home after an errand ends up becoming a nightmare for this mother and daughter. About five minutes pass before we see a young man who we later find out is the ex-boyfriend to the girl in the beginning of the video. At first he just stands there menacingly, but then becomes more aggressive with his approach. He attempts to force open the knob, and when that doesn't work, he starts charging at the door with his body. If you listen closely, you can hear the homeowner saying that they are armed with a gun. And the young man is successful in breaking down the door, but then we unexpectedly hear a gunshot go off in the background. The ex-boyfriend is caught off guard and is shot a total of three times by the homeowner before he realizes what's going on. He attempts to walk out of the gun's target range, but stumbles and collapses on the front lawn. A couple of minutes pass by before a concerned neighbor makes his way over to check on the young man. The ex-boyfriend's name was James Rail, and he was 22 years old when he was fatally shot outside the Sydney, Ohio home on July 31st, 2002. During his autopsy, it was revealed that James was shot twice in the shoulder and once fatally in the back during this home evasion attempt. A grand jury voted 8-1 to one against indicting the homeowner on charges related to James's killing. And this sparked some outrage from James's family who demanded the homeowner be charged with homicide following the fatal shooting of the 22-year-old intruder. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 
Oh, wait. He's leaving. Hey! He's coming back. Nope, 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 I'm calling. James, she doesn't want to talk to you. This next clip showcases a robbery attempt foiled in real time when a couple out on a walk are followed by this armed duo in Denver, Colorado. Allegedly, the homeowners were out on a walk when this man and woman began following them back to their house. When walking up to the front door, the man quickly pulls out his gun to begin his robbery attempt, and that's when the homeowner is quick to think on his feet and shuts the door before the armed assailant can fire his weapon. And to me, the most infuriating part about the video isn't just the brazenness of the gunman, but the smugness of his accomplice, who smirks when the homeowner retreats to safety. It's almost as if this is a common occurrence for the two perpetrators, but luckily the slamming of the door was enough to deter the two criminals from following through with their plan. Unfortunately, this couple went on to successfully rob another innocent bystander just hours later. After watching this next clip, I am much more inclined to believe in divine intervention and when I show you the events that unfolded in this video, you will see exactly why. This man in a pink polo is being held at gunpoint prior to a robbery attempt by the individual in the white shirt. The man runs across the street from his house into the neighbor's yard before the armed man fires three shots at the man in pink. The gun jams and locks for the duration of all three shots and the man successfully flees away. The incident took place in Lake Mead near Las Vegas, Nevada, and it all started when the man in pink parks his car in his garage and is ambushed by the gunman in white. The victim runs across the street to his neighbor's home, which picks up the footage of the gunman firing his failed rounds. The scariest part about this video is that this gunman attacks in broad daylight and does so very recklessly when waiting for the man to open and park his car in his own garage. If the gun would have successfully fired, this would have been a much more tragic ending for the man in the pink polo. This next clip was captured around 2 a.m. A man by the name of Trey Thomas recorded alarming activity on his ring doorbell camera. Two masked men are seen charging at Trey's door and they are not messing around when it comes to breaking and entering. When one of the gunmen doesn't realize is the more force he uses to kick down the door, the closer he is to accidentally firing the gun in his own pocket. The man on the left begins kicking the door with the backside of his leg while his body is facing the opposite direction. And after the second kick, the criminal fires off the gun and shoots himself in the thigh. And in Scooby-Doo-like fashion, the pair skip across the street in between two neighbors' houses. Unbelievably so, the unharmed masked man returns for a round two. He pulls out his gun in Trey's front yard, but the homeowner already called the authorities, which forces the man to retreat from the premises. The other criminal idiotically goes to a local hospital after they shoot themselves and were arrested on the premises. His partner has never been identified or caught, and Trey is still not sure why the two criminals specifically targeted him in his father's home. I was in such shock at the fact that somebody was at my front door like that, that I didn't even think to look at my phone. This is what Trey Thomas's ring doorbell recorded at 2 o'clock Monday morning. Oh. He's convinced the only reason the pair ran off is because when the one on the left was kicking the front door, he shot himself in the thigh with a gun in his pocket. The two ran across the street and between two houses. But just when Thomas thought it was all over, one of the men came back. I could see the one standing in my front yard and he pulled his gun out of his pocket right, right in my front yard. So the first thing I did was turn around and run back upstairs and make sure my dad wasn't in harm's way. They called the police who responded right away. There was actually a shell on the ground outside of my house from when he shot himself in the leg. Um, so they went ahead and 
did the crime scene investigation, took pictures of footprints and the shell, whatnot, and they checked the neighborhood to make sure they weren't still around. They weren't, but the man with the bullet wound showed up at a hospital to be treated. Police confirm detectives interviewed and then arrested him, while the other is believed to still be at large. Thomas says he doesn't understand why the two targeted his home. My dad didn't know what it was. He realized it was somebody banging at the front door, but uh, he didn't know what it was for. Like, we don't have any reason to have any conflicts like this or any anybody trying to break into my home. He says the two may be friends of friends of his 16-year-old brother, who doesn't live at their home full time. But he still doesn't understand why his home was targeted, especially since his front porch is well lit and shows the doorbell. Out of all the houses on the cul I'm sure that I'm one of the few houses that have a camera on their house. And it just so happened they chose my house to kick in. To any single men or women out there who walk home late at night, please always pay attention to your surroundings and the people trailing closely behind. You never know if your gut will steer you in the right direction until it's too late. This woman's ring cam captures the close call she has between her and this stranger attempting to overpower her when she arrives at her front door. The incident happened in an apartment complex in the Bronx neighborhood of New York. The woman noticed the man out of the corner of her eye while walking home at 2 in the morning. The footage from the apartment complex shows the man following the woman inside the main entrance of the building as well as the corridor leading up to her apartment. The creepiest moment in the video is when the man drops the act and begins panicking to catch up to the woman. He pauses before bursting into a sprint and attempts to stop the apartment owner's door from closing. Incredibly, the woman's gut instincts proved her right when she hears the man running down the hallway to her unit. Quick on her feet, the woman knows what is about to happen and abruptly opens and shuts the door to her apartment. Barricading herself in the safety of her home, the man calls out and bangs on the door. If this woman would have even hesitated for a couple of seconds, the man would have successfully broken into the unit. The video is terrifying. Hey, yo, it was just a matter of seconds. He was literally like one second from going inside. Today, this brave woman, still shaking, finding the courage to speak out about that day as she arrived home from work around two in the morning. There was two guys in the two guys like outside, right? And they were just like looking suspicious. You see her walking into the building, cautiously eyeing a man on the side. Seconds later, that same man in the white tank top walks into the Sherman Avenue building behind her. She knew he was up to no good. Miss, miss. He, he followed me inside the building and he said, miss, miss twice. She describes the horrifying moment seen in this video as a suspect accesses the lobby. Seconds later, the woman knew he was around the corner and she quickly tried to open her apartment lock. Her instincts spot on. Hey, he came right after her, determined to get inside. I came inside and then right away I just screamed, somebody's following me. Like he was literally one second from coming inside. As she watches this video, she knows she was very lucky. I feel very scared. Like I was, I was, I was saying, what if? What if I had the top door locked? What if? Like it was literally just one second. If I had the top lock, I could. He could have got of me. Her next video in the countdown involves a father and family being robbed at gunpoint by a total of four different men. It appears that this attack is not random and the perpetrators know the man who they are targeting. The four men already robbed the father on the front lawn, but they aren't finished with their agenda. They go inside the home and continue to kidnap valuables and illegal narcotics. Although no one in the household was severely injured, this was definitely a close call for this family of four and especially for the father being held hostage. And those were just some of the terrifying moments. As you can see there, the gunman came to the door. Police say they had already stolen from the man and forced him to the ground and taken everything on him. When he gets up, the gunman pushed the men, man to the door and forced him to go inside. Police say once the four robbers got in, they stole something else inside. It appears they got away with some lottery tickets and some illegal narcotics. It doesn't appear that this case is uh, random at all. It appears that the victim may have known the suspects. 
Imagine you and your partner decide to go out and have a nice evening at a restaurant. And while you're enjoying your meal, you get a notification from your ring cam notifying you that there's activity in your home. Well, this couple received the shock of their life when they see two masked individuals ordering their children to lie face down on the ground while continuing to ransack their house. The homeowner tries desperately to communicate with the intruders over the intercom, and he lets them know that they are being filmed, the authorities have been called, and their neighbors are outside the door. Ironically, once the criminals are aware that they are on camera, that acts enough as a deterrent for them to evacuate the home straight away. And this goes to show you how crucial a ring cam can be when trying to prevent any unwanted visitors from having complete control in these kinds of situations. It's a brazen home invasion. Two armed men burst into a house in Pasadena, Texas. Three victims are ordered to the floor. Then one suspect lifts one young lady by her hair and orders her to another part of the house. Yeah. Yeah. As the terrifying invasion unfolds, the parents who are out for the evening watch in horror on their ring camera cell phone app. Hey, who's in my house? I got you on camera. The cops are on the way. The cops are on their way. My neighbors, my neighbors are there. They're, they're calling the cops right now. Y'all better get out of my house. Y'all better get out of my house now. It is a terrifying incident. If you watch the video there, you can see what a traumatic incident it actually was. Do you think the fact that they were talking to these robbers via ring video, that that had some impact on them leaving quickly? As soon as that camera system activates and someone's talking to them saying, get out of my home, get out of my home, you can see how quickly they left. This last video is equally confusing as it is creepy. It involves a man who looks to be in his late 30s knocking on the stranger's doorbell late at night. This incident happened recently in December of 2022. This man knocks on the door and waits while the homeowner responds. When the homeowner finally does, the man stands in the camera's view like a deer in headlights and says his name is James, followed by the statement that he's looking for a friend named Sammy, last name Sosa as in Sammy Sosa, the professional baseball player. Judging from the shape of his pupils and his overly expressive emotions, the man is more than likely on some type of illegal substance when he stumbled into this man's front porch. After some awkward silence, the homeowner asks him to clarify the man says James again and that he is looking for his friend. Now, this homeowner is done with this game of 21 questions and threatens the man to get off his porch. And luckily, the man in the video doesn't return for the remainder of the evening. But when looking for updates on this case, the same man was apprehended and detained in a nearby apartment complex that fall following morning. How can I help you? Uh, uh, this is, um, uh, my name is James. <clears throat> what are you looking for? Uh, Sosa. Uh, Sammy. What's your name? James. And who are you looking for? No, a friend of mine. No friend of yours lives here, buddy. And I got a Glock over here ready for you. So if you don't get the fuck off my porch, I'm going to unload it on your fucking face. Get the fuck off my porch. All right.